Hi, it's Matt, and I've got my Game Boy camera. Game Boy what? The Game Boy camera came out 20 years ago in 1998. You plugged it in like any other cartridge, but this turned your Game Boy into a black and white digital camera, which was very fancy for its day. In case you haven't seen one before, I'll go out and I'll take some photos with mine. I've taken loads of photos over the years, including a time lapse from 2001 of the Mars Odyssey rocket launch, which stayed on the cartridge until 2010 when I found this long winded way to get the photos off. Plug it into Mega Memory, back it up, replace with USB flash card, restore the backup to that, plug the USB flash card into the computer, use EMS flasher to get the data off, run GB camera dump in wine, and you end up with a load of lovely 128 by 112 pixel black and white pictures. But I had a thought the other day. What if I could make it take a color photo? And that brings us back to me in a park in the cold. Modern cameras take photos in colour by taking a red photo, a green photo and a blue photo and combining them together. I've got red, green and blue filters. So if I take a red filtered, a blue filtered and a green filtered photo, I should be able to combine them together and get a coloured photo out of it. So let's have a go before my batteries all run out. First, I'm going to take the red one then I'll take the green one, and now the blue one, and then one without any filter, just for comparison. Now hopefully I can get something out of that, but I've got no idea. It's winter and I'm outside, so there isn't that much other than green and brown. I suppose I've come to the wrong place, really. Here's what it looked like from my phone, in black and white, and in colour. Now that obviously doesn't look amazing, but I know my theory is sound. Sergei Prokudin Gorsky took this photo of the Emir of Bukhara sometime between 1905 and 1915, and it's made up of three black and white photos using a similar method to me now. I just needed to find a better, more colourful subject for the photos. Here's how they turned out, and I think they look great. I could probably get even better results if I hadn't bought cheap filters. My green one really didn't seem dark enough. Yes, they're tiny and pixelated, but that's the charm of the Game Boy camera. I'll show you how I combine the filtered shots into a colour image. Open all three in Photoshop. Make a new document with RGB colour. Using the layers panel, copy each image onto the red, green and blue layers and it gives you a colour photo, albeit a bit washed out, so let's add some filter layers to boost the saturation and vibrance to make it look nicer. If you want to have a go yourself, you can do it with any black and white camera, or even your phone if it has a black and white mode. Thank you for watching, I've put links to my photos and more in the description. Ha, ha, ha.